Good afternoon, welcome to Liberia, where the local time is 12.52. Cafe in Macadamia. Highly recommend a stop here if you need the bathroom when you're driving to La Fortuna or you want to get some souvenirs or you want to get like a milkshake or a smoothie or something. This is the spot. These are the coffees. This Volcan Frio is really good. Here's all the souvenirs. Rooms. This is our room. Very simple. One thing we wish is there was a dresser. There is a cabinet, but we wish there was just like a dresser of drawers because we were here for five days, which is kind of a decent amount of time, and we would have really liked that. You have window normally looks out on the volcano but it's not there right now <laughs> and then we got the one that has the thermal in the back which is awesome so we had our own private like jacuzzi tub we are touring the grounds of our hotel this is a great place to stay with a great view of the volcano when it's not clouded over and the grounds are really pretty. You can walk around, there's like a mile long path going around it. These are the hot springs that are fed with water that is heated by the volcano. The hotel has a one mile walking path, so we decided to explore. There's a yoga deck and it seems to be some kind of outdoor gym. Request equipment at reception. Squat rack, monkey bars, TRX, rings. If you're in need of a coffee stop, this is a great cafe. It is Restaurant Rainforest. And you also have the Arnall sign right in the background. They have really great iced coffees. Um, kind of like if you like like Starbucks drinks, they, I mean, it's not quite the menu of Starbucks, but you can also get like frozen coffees and stuff like that. It's really, really good. I'm on my way to see if I can get equipment to use the outdoor gym. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do, but I found a burn full body strength workout that I can probably recreate, so that's what we're going for. Back in my gym, okay, so I've got my gloves ready because there are monkey bars. Monkey bars right there, and then over here, I have a kettlebell. I have two 10 pound dumbbells it was that and then it jumped to 25 so i was like all right i'm gonna be doing beast makers so that'll that'll be good okay that workout was no joke that was amazing i feel so much better i was feeling so blah i just kicked my own butt using a burn workout and i'm so happy i'm glad they actually had some equipment here that was awesome
Later that day, we went to a rope swing called El Salto. This place is so cool. There's so many people jumping in. It's really awesome. After a swim, you need gelato. <laughs> we are here at Sky Adventures to go ziplining. We went to the same place when we were in Monteverde. So when we were looking for a place in Arenal area, there's actually a bunch of different places, but we knew we loved Sky from last time, so we thought we would come here again. So really excited. because of the clarity. Once you do it, How is it? Nice. I'm glad I was warmed up for that one though. <laughs> we have found another coffee spot, Metropoli, and they have delicious cold brew, exactly like you would expect cold brew to taste like and this yummy chileno cake and a beautiful view of the rainforest. back to a friend. We are here at Sloth's territory to see sloths. They are very difficult to spot in the wild because they don't move. And you can definitely go to like preserve places where they might like have them kind of captively, but we're not into that. So we are at Sloth's territory. It's actually a family owned farm. And so they just naturally live here and the people here know kind of where to spot them. So they're gonna take us on a tour. They're gonna show us the grounds of their farm um, and teach us also about like plants and other animals that live here. So it's a really nice place and pretty affordable. It was $30 per ticket. So I think that's totally worth it for like an hour, hour and a half tour of the farm and to get to see some sloths. Katia, esto es un perezocito bebé, ¿lo ve ahí? Sí, yo lo veo. Hanging upside down and eating.
Tonight we are having dinner at the Sura Bistro, which is the restaurant at our hotel. The last time we were here, we had really, really delicious steaks. We're really excited to have them again. It has like a chimichurri sauce. I am having a red wine with it. So this should be a really delicious dinner. It is 5.45 a.m. I just woke up and finally the volcano is back. Woo! It has been hidden in the clouds for quite some time, but there it is, yay! Today we are at Catarata La Fortuna, which is La Fortuna Waterfall. It is a big, beautiful waterfall and you can go swimming at the bottom, but there's a lot of stairs to get there. I don't know how many, but it's a lot. <laughs> Let the stairs begin. We are here at Cantarata La Fortuna. We tried to come yesterday, but it was too strong to even be able to swim, so we're back. Um, I can't even imagine what it would have been like yesterday because today is very intense but amazing. As you can see, the waterfall is incredible. We had a great swim. It was so much fun. We just finished at the waterfall. It was so fun. The water's kind of cold here, but it was totally worth it. It's amazing. We had a great time. which in Costa Rica means it's pitch black out. You would think it was midnight, but it's not. So we are going to the pool spa. There's some really cool lights. There's like a swim up bar. It's gonna be great. Oh, yay. 